Sunday was the coldest morning of the season so far, but a lot of us still have not hit the freezing mark. Meteorologist Chris Michaels explains why the length between freezes is getting longer and what that means for us. So there are two main impacts that we get from a longer growing season, one of which is the prolonged allergies and another is that some pests and insects can last a little bit longer. These are things that we've talked about in recent weeks. We've also talked about this on average every September through November. We have 22 mornings in the 30s. Well, so far this year we've only had two and we've yet to hit the freezing mark. The last time we did so at RDU at least was February 21st. So it's been 271 days since we fell below freezing in the triangle. That's a record for the longest growing season or longest time in between freezes. You can see, however, that the growing season's gotten longer. So over the past 80 years, on average, it's 205 days. But within the past five to 10 years, it's increased by about two weeks. Hence why we showed you guys some of those impacts just at the beginning of this segment. Now, we're not going to hit freezing within the next few days, but you do see a nice dip in temperatures here as we head into the upcoming weekend. That's when we'll see lows in the 30s. And if the wind can calm down enough, you'd probably see some patchy frost. But as for hitting the 32 degree mark on a widespread scale, doesn't look like that's going to happen, at least not within the next five to six days.